Hello beautifuls, this is Aroma here, and welcome back to Seduce Me 2. So, I believe this is the ending of Matthew, and after Matthew, we are going straight to Sam, and then James. No one's been a fan of Eric. I think someone's been a fan of Eric. I'm not quite sure, but he, he wasn't really uh, commented a whole lot. So, we're going to go for Sam, James, and then Eric is last. I couldn't stop the amused smile on my face as Diana walked up beside me, rubbing her neck in irritation. You weakened him a bit for, sh for them, I'm sure. Diana rolled her eyes as Matthew finally rushed up up the dais towards his mother. Mother! Zekeru! No. His mother wrapped her arms around Matthew, squeezing him to her. Matthew hugged her back just as tightly and kind, joyous to see her Fred from the de freed, not Fred, freed from the demon lord's power. I'm right here. It's gonna be okay. I was beyond happy for Matthew. His mother was safe now and the demon lord was defeated. I could feel some sort of weight lift off of my sho shoulders, knowing that the curse has been broken with its death. I s smiled as I watched Azera cry in Matthew's arms. Before I could step forward to join them, however, Diana placed her hand in front of me, glaring ahead of her. I looked up with her with a surprise, a very surprised face. Diana? Stay back. Uh, do we listen to her or do we go to Matthew? I, uh, uh, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I sort of want to look at a guide, but then I don't want to look at a guide. Should we listen to Diana or go to Matthew? I think we should go to Matthew, because why, why aren't we allowed to go to Matthew? Diana was being paranoid. The demon Lord was dead, and Matthew's mother was safe. Nothing was wrong. She must be making a fuss over nothing. I pushed Diana's hand away and took, an took another step forward before feeling Diana's hand grasp my shoulder, digging her fingers into it. I said, stay back. I stared wide-eyed at Diana, seeing a very frightening look in her eye. Was something truly wrong? I looked back to Matthew and his mother, now concerned. My sweet Zekeru, you're finally home. Oh, wait, his mom. Of course I am. I had to save you. Right? She looks weird. As Azara smiled at and, ki and kissed Matthew's forehead, slowly rising to her feet with him. When she fully stood, something in the air changed. The room became a little more peaceful and bright as Matthew turned towards me and Diana. I guess I can finally introduce you to my fiance. She helped in saving you. Azetta smiled very softly and looked to Diana, passing over me. What? I felt a little angry at being ignored, but understood. She wouldn't expect a human to be his future wife. The princess of Lilith's kingdom is your intended? What? No, no, no. Uh, not her. Before Matthew could step towards me, however, Azetta's face delicately scrunched up at the sight of me. What the- Why is a human here? Huh? Mom, that's my fiancé. I don't think your mom's happy. The atmosphere suddenly changed, the air became colder, and something wasn't right. Something in Zeta's eyes changed too, becoming hard and vicious. A human? Yeah? I don't think she likes me. Zeta locked eyes with me, and I suddenly gasped and, then became lo and became lost in my mind, detached from my body. I couldn't move anything or speak a single word, and her eyes remained their icy blue color. What was happening? Human. Who are you? Oh, so that's why Diana told us not to go. I'm no one. I'm an army slut used for energy and sex. What? Matthew stared at me, completely shocked at what I had said. I, however, could only stare at Zera, whose, eye, who, whose gaze continued to burn into mine. You are not expecting to be with my son, correct? A human like me is not worthy. Dimitira Iyam. Instantly, my mind was my own again, and re I released a gasp of surprise. I collapsed into Diana's arms as she reached out to catch me. Azetta looked to Diana, fence clearly written across her features. How dare you! Matthew, get away from her! What is going on? I looked up and watched as Azetta glared at her own son and placed her hand on his chest. Her hand was engulfed in, in a dark blue glow that spread to the taint on Matthew's skin. Some sort of invisible force pulled Matthew back and slammed his body into the Demon Lord's throne. Ah! Wait, what? 
As his body came to rest again and blue chains wrapped around the throne of Matthew's body, the chains began to glow and tighten around him, locking him in place. Filthy human bitch! You don't belong in this world, and you will never have my son! <sighs> Mother, what are you- Your mother's not here anymore, Matthew. What? She's been connected to the Demon Lord for too long. She's gone mad. Mad? I am speaking truth! The king of the demon world has no need for a disgusting human! What? King of the demon world? I'm afraid you are mistaken. How am I mistaken? The demon lord is dead, so his son must take the throne! The demon lord is dead. The rebellion has usurped the throne. Your son no longer has claim to it. <laughs> the rebellion merely paved the way for the true king to ascend to the throne! My son was always destined to take it, and your little siege helped him achieve his fate! Mother, stop! Enough, Sekedu! The chains around Matthew's body tightened, and he winced and choked out a gasp of pain. I instinctively reached out and tried to move towards him, but Diana held me back, protecting me still. Azana looked to him with a sad expression, tears almost filling her eyes. When you left, I was so alone. I didn't understand. I always asked, why? Why did my own son leave me here? You broke my heart. But then I realized it was part of your destiny. Mother... You were merely preparing to take the throne! <laughs> you needed to experience the human world before returning and taking your rightful place when the time was right! That's why you joined the rebellion! No! No, that's not true! I can't because the Demon Lord cursed! Listen to yourself! You are a demon, Sekedu! You are the son of the Demon Lord! Destined for greatness! Why are you fighting this? Because he doesn't want it, woman. Matthew pulled and struggled against the chains he was trapped under, no longer answering his mother. Azetta, however, turned to me and Diana, rage dancing within her eyes. You poisoned his mind. You enslaved my son! What? It wasn't true. I loved him and he loved me. This wasn't supposed to happen. Why was Matthew's mother doing this? Was she truly insane? Diana placed an arm on my shoulder, causing me to look up at her. Don't bother listening to her. Her mind has been consumed by madness. And you, Princess of Lilith! You dare oppose this kingdom? You swore your allegiance to the heir of the Demon Lord! Yet you march here with an army bent on destroying the kingdom that you had pledged yourself to! The Demon Lord broke his promise and murdered my family while I was in the human world doing his dirty work. My vow changed accordingly. And I swore that I would see his kingdom fall. A whipped woman like you would never understand. Damn, whipped. Whipped? I merely waited for the chance to kill him so that my son could take his rightful place. Let's not forget that I was the one to strike the final blow on the bastard. I am warning you now. Stand down. The room became filled with a dark energy as Etta glared hard at Diana, her eyes glowing a deadly gold color. However, Diana seemed to be unaffected by her gaze, returning the venomous look with a cold red eye stare. Such arrogance! You truly think you can stand against me? If it means finishing the job and freeing the world from madness, then yes. Azetta snar snarled before a blue aura enveloped from her... Enveloped... Oh, enveloped her form. Her eyes began to flicker between her natural eye color to gold as the room adopted an eerie chill. Then, allow me to clear the field of useless trash! What I didn't expect was Azetta shooting a blue and black chain at me. A large j- wait, what? A large blade jutting out at the end intent of running me through. Before I could scream, however, I was pushed back and fell onto the ground, the, t the air in my lungs rushing out and leaving me breathless. As I managed to look up, I saw Diana standing in front of me, wings splayed out wide behind her, twitching in furious rage. The chain in question had been knocked away and vanished into the air. I won't let you touch her! Has the human world tainted you too? You're defending a human! Yet you claim that I am the one who is mad! Stop it! Quiet! When a violent wave of her wave of her arm, Azetta cast some sort of black mist over Matthew's mouth. As it took physical shape, a large blue steel mask in the shape of a bird's beak formed over Matthew's nose and mouth, completely covering the lower half of his face. 
This is for you, Shikeru. Let me finally give you the world you deserve. His mother is like bonkers. As I looked back to Diana, rage feeling her glare and the cold golden color. Yeah, cold golden color over her irises. I will warn you now, Queen of the Rebellion. You stand against a pure blooded succubus. Do not think you have any advantage over me. In fact, I am stronger than you can ever hope to be! Another pure-blooded succubus. I knew Diana was, but I thought she was the only one. How could there have been another? <laughs> Diana's quiet chuckle, however, broke me from my thoughts. I recognize the strong scent of lilies. At least this fight will be interesting. Oh, so this is a whole new route going on here instead of fighting the demon lord, fighting his mom. Something in Diana's voice changed, shooting shivers down my spine. I recognized her tone of voice. The cruel Diana was back. However, Diana's hand reached back to me. What was she doing? Human, give me some of your energy. I don't need much to defeat this woman. Give her your hand or refuse? No, let's help her out, man. I didn't want this to happen, but Diana needed to fight her. Azetta had already enthralled me once, and I knew I was no match for her. I took Diana's hand, feeling her quickly drain some energy from my body. The chain around her form began to pulse and glow slightly at the new energy in her body, but Diana didn't hold on for long. Diana pulled her hand back and began to chant quietly, waving her hand in the air by, the, by her head. Enough talk! Die! At the sound of Azetta's words, a volley of chains rushed out from behind her body and shot themselves towards Diana. Before they could reach her, however, Diana formed a familiar saber in her hand, parrying all of them and knocking them away from her. As they fell, the sudden, lifeless chains vanished into the ground, making Azetta growl. You're too slow. All of those years under the Demon Lord's body must have taken a toll on you. You insolent bitch! Diana sh suddenly shot herself into the air and swooped towards the other succubus, raising her sabers and swinging to decapitate Azetta. However, all Diana hit was, a sudden was suddenly vanishing after him. What? Before my eyes, Azetta appeared behind Diana, floating in midair with a large chain ready to slam down on Diana's head. Diana! Diana quickly dodged to the side, knowing what my scream meant. However, the chain slammed itself onto Diana's left wing, causing her to dip and fall to the ground. Her body bounced off the marble surface, and she landed on her stomach, knocking the wind out of her. Oh! A succubus relying on wings? A bit old-fashioned. You really are the Lilith's bloodline to still depend on that method! Diana snarled and looked up at Zeta, gripping her injured wing. It looked broken, twitching in pain under Diana's fingers. However, the wing quickly reshaped itself and folded properly, as if it had never been broken in the first place. Diana smirked as Zeta stared in shock. It may be old-fashioned, but I make it work. With that, with, the, with that quip, Diana flew at Zeta again, her wings flapping as she sailed through the air for an accelerated boost. Azetta glared before disabelling on her chain and flying at Diana in return. Meeting her halfway, both of the women began to brawl and swipe at each other in the, in the air, exchanging kicks and punches and either blocking each other's strikes or dodging them. I, however, looked to Matthew, who was still struggling against the chains around him, pulling roughly one way then another, another to try and find some leeway. His hands were bound to the armrest, leaving him no chance to use his power to summon anything. Wait for Diana to finish her or rescue rescue Matthew. I couldn't just lay there. I had to do something. I quickly jumped up and ran towards Matthew, needing to help him. However, a large barrier forced me back onto the floor. Was Azetta holding me back? It wasn't fair. Matthew! <gasps> Diana and Azetta finally shot away from each other. Diana landing near me and Azetta landing beside Matthew. Enough fooling around! You'll never outmatch me! Just surrender! Crowing like a proud bird won't convince me of your strength. If you claim to be stronger than me, then prove it! Once more, Diana charged at Azetta, zipping through the air like a bullet. <laughs> From the shadows around Diana, lines of blue chains shot forth and reached for Diana's body. <laughs> the chains quickly wrapped themselves around Diana's arms, legs, and encircled her neck and waist, squeezing her tightly. A choked gar garble managed to escape Diana's throat as the chains began to pull her limbs in opposite directions. My mind flashed back to the nightmare I had before I arrived. Diana was chained in the air in the shape of a star being pulled apart. However, this time, it was Azetta who was pulling chains. Azetta laughed hysterically as she looked up at Diana's body, seeing the result of her sneak attack. <laughs> Such a shame, Princess of Lilith! Do you not like that? 
thought you wanted me to prove my strength. That its fingers blew bolts of lightning ran down the chains and shot into Diana's form, causing her to release a heavily garbled scream into the air. I'm sorry, Diana. I'm so worthless right now. I had to think of something quick. I needed to save Matthew and Diana, but were both possible, especially with a barrier in the way. My mind instantly thought of Settle. He had holy magic, so maybe he had this ability to break the barrier. However, what about Matthew? What if Zeta did something else to stop him while Settle saved Diana? Then I remembered that I could summon Matthew to me using his real name. What if it helped him escape his bonds? There wasn't enough time to decide. I shouted at last, calling out the first name to come into my mind. Um, we're gonna call for Settle, because I think Matthew is stuck. He's stuck. I don't think he can help us. I think Settle can help us. At least he can help Diana, and then Diana will help us. So, call for Settle. Diana was in danger, and Matthew wasn't. I knew that his mother wouldn't hurt him, so I had to get Diana out of her. Oh, and that. That's smart, too. I said his name reverberated from my lips. A bright light flashed through the room, causing Azetta to cover her eyes and making me and Matthew turn our heads. What? As quickly as it came, the light vanished, revealing Seto holding Diana close to his body as she barely managed to stay afloat with her magic. The chains had been broken and were slowly fading away as Seto glared intensely at Azetta. She stared back in shock at who she saw. What is this? Seto. Oh, they're so cute. See, see, Settle, I helped you in the end. The guard didn't reply, only intent on holding on to Diana and doing something with the spear, which he grasped in a white knuckled grip. His body seemed to glow a white color that spread to gently engulf Diana's body in his hold. You dare lay your hands on my queen! As Settle raised his spear up like a javelin, javelin? Zero stepped back in fear. The weapon became to emit a dangerous golden color in his grasp, its aura flickering through the air. Periot, Celesti Bestia! I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. With a strong throw, Zero shot his spear at, at Zeta, and she protectively brought her arms in front of him, um, in front of her, forming a blue barrier around her body. The spear's blade slammed on into the barrier and continued to push against it, trying to reach its target. The barrier was cracking as the spear attempted to pierce through it, but the cracks would seal themselves together again as soon as they appeared. Azetta struggled to keep it from piercing through the barrier around her. <laughs> Diana, barely hanging on to Settle, guided them both back towards me, landing safely on the ground next to me before Diana almost collapsed. Is that you? Uh, I'm fine. However, Diana's eyes rolled into the back of her head, and forward she fell into Settle's arms. He tightened his hold on her, hugging her from her, hugging her form to him as his eyes began to fill with panic. Diana was out of for, out for the count now. <coughs> the sound of the heavy clatter echoed through the chambers as Settle's spear was finally knocked away and fell to the ground, no longer glowing. Azetta, however, seemed worn out from spending so much energy to defend against Settle's weapon, and the barrier around her faded away. No! How does a demon have holy magic? I couldn't believe it. The sphere was emitting holy magic? Then how was Azetta able to block it and push it away? The light in Azetta's eyes faded as she snarled at Zeta before she moved her hands in front of her body again and shot out a large blue orb wrapped in black chains towards him. It cut through the air with bullet-like speed, slamming two shuttles in Diana's body before Zeta had the chance to look up. <laughs> They both flew backwards and slammed into the fall, far wall, landing on the ground beside each other with a painful sounding pair of thuds. Sedio, Sedio, what the hell? Sedio and Diana, guys, get the hell up. I know you guys are tired, but we're about to die if no one kills this lady. I looked back at Azetta, both fierce and fearful of her. Azetta then sneered at me, stepping down from the throne dais to walk walked slowly towards me. I felt my body freeze at her gaze. She was enthralling me again. I fought back with all my willpower, trying to deny her any control over my form, but I remained as still as a statue, only able to breathe. You waste of space! Do you really think you can just claim my son? He is about to serve a higher purpose and you are in his way! Don't you see that? Nope! I gritted my teeth, fighting back harder. I could feel waves of energy rush through me, ordering me to obey her mental commands, but I refused to acknowledge them. I wasn't going to give in to her. All 
You are good for is being chained to a bed and milked of your energy like a good little harem girl. Energy would be able to sustain him for decades. All right. Well then, I thought we would be able to finish today, but we're not. I'm sorry. I don't even know how long it's going to be, but I feel like there's more to it. So I'm going to stop here for today. I know you guys are going to be sad because you have to wait for next week. But please wait for it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll, guess I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one.